hello students in our previous classes we have read about atoms and different symbols of element given by Dalton here we will discuss about atomic mass so it was Dalton atomic theory proposed the most remarkable concept about the atomic mass according to Dalton each element had characteristics atomic mass the theory of Dalton explained the law of constant proportion so well that scientists were prompt to measure the atomic mass of an atom since determining the mass of an individual atom was a relatively difficult tax relative atomic mass were determined using the law of chemical combination and the compound form so before starting this chapter in the beginning of this chapter we have read about the chemical combinations law of chemical combinations there are two law of chemical combination that is law of conservation of mass that is mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction and second one is law of constant proportionality that means when the elements or atom combine to form molecules or compound that molecules or compound have in a definite ratio or in constant of proportionality so to explain here one example is taken a compound carbon monoxide is taken the carbon and oxygen are experimentally found that there are 3 grams of carbon combined with 4 grams of oxygen to form carbon monoxide so in the other words we can say carbon combines 4 by 3 times its mass of oxygen so earlier scientists are using abbreviation of AMU as atomic mass unit to measure the mass of an atom but now latest IUPAC recommendation it is written as U that means unified mass so this U or AMU is the unit suppose when we measure a weight then we will use the unit kg or gram similarly to measure the mass of an atom earlier it is used as atomic mass unit amu but now it is used as unified mass u and this unified mass is equal to mass of one carbon atom and this atomic mass is equal to one u but for oxygen the atomic mass amu or unified mass is 1.33 however in earlier uh, scientists were found more convenient to use this number 1.33 or oxygen number because this number gives us a whole number or nearest to the whole number to find the atomic mass of other element
so it is written here while searching for the various atomic mass scientists use initially um, 1 by 16 the mass of atom naturally occurring oxygen as the unit so why they are use oxygen as a unit naturally occurring oxygen as a unit for measuring the mass of other atom because there are two reasons of for consider considering the atomic mass of oxygen because oxygen is reactive element and they react and form a large number of element as well as compound and also another point is this atomic mass unit gives masses of most of the element as a whole number that means oxygen atomic mass scientists are use because when they use oxygen atomic mass to find the mass of other element then during that time they will get most of the elements masses as in the whole number form so which fits the second law of chemical combination but in 1961 it was universally accepted atomic mass unit carbon 12 isotopes though there are two carbon isotopes carbon 14 and carbon 12 but carbon 12 is taken because in carbon 12 there are six proton and six neutron so it is chosen as a standard form for measuring the atomic masses of other atom so one atomic masses unit is a mass unit equal to exactly 112 the mass of one atom of carbon 12 the relative atomic masses of all elements that have found with respect to one uh, to an atom of carbon 12 so it is written what suppose in place of mass of carbon 12 we are taking suppose this is the mass of carbon 12 it may be suppose we are express in suppose it is 12 gram or suppose for our understanding we are taking it is 12 kg or 12 gram now we will separate it equally into 12 portion then each part is equal to 1 kg or 1 gram isn't it so this one part is equal to 1 by 12 1 by 12 and this 1 by 12 is used to measure the weight of other not weight mass of other atom suppose hydrogen we know the atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 this is how this is used to measure 1 by 12 mass of this carbon 12 carbon 12 so carbon 12 mass is 12 u or when we cancel 12 12 then it will remain 1 so hydrogen atomic masses is 1 so for better understanding it is written here uh, you have to imagine a fruit seller selling fruits without any standard weight with him he, he takes watermelon and see this has a mass equal to 12 units so what 12 watermelon units or 12 foot mass unit that means watermelon divided into 12 parts this is watermelon divided into 12 parts and one part is it is 1 by 12 one part is it is 1 by 12 so this 1 by 12 is used to measure the weight of other fruits suppose the fruit seller have different type of fruits it has mango banana orange suppose one part 
of one twelve of this watermelon is weight two orange then this is his standard weight to measure the other fruits so scientists are trying to measure the mass of atoms by such type of uh, with the help of carbon 12 atomic mass so here the definition of relative atomic mass is given as the relative atomic masses of atom of an element is defined as the average mass of atom as compared to 1 by 12 the mass of carbon 12 so average mass of atom average mass of atom into 1 by 12 of mass of carbon 12 carbon 12 means 12 atomic mass is 12 so 12 will cancel then 1 into average atomic mass of element suppose here elements are uh, tables given atomic masses of few elements uh, atomic mass and this element hydrogen 1 that means hydrogen atomic mass is 1 that means average Average mass of atom is one. So if you consider suppose uh, carbon it is better to understand or nitrogen nitrogen actually it has seven proton and seven neutron so the mass of seven proton seven neutron equal to 14 isn't it so mass 14 14 into 1 by 12 of carbon into 12 carbon carbon 12 that means 14 into we can write like that 14 into 1 by 12 of carbon 12 carbon 12 so 14 into 1 by 12 carbon 12 means 12 so 12 12 cancel 1 into 14 equal 14 u similarly the atomic mass of sodium is 23 atomic mass of oxygen is 16 so atomic masses of sulfur is 32 atomic masses of chlorine is 35.5 atomic mass of calcium is 40 so next we will read about how do atom exist thank you